Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. So this is a weird one. This is, this is an actual weird one. Um, I've noticed a brand new trend, uh, or rather a, 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 a revival of a trend that uh, was very popular around 2016, 2017, 2018. Uh, you might have seen it. There are a large number of YouTube channels out there now saying something along the lines of you only need 0.1 Bitcoin to be a millionaire. Want to be wealthy? You only need 0.1 Bitcoin. How to become Bitcoin rich? You only need 0.1 Bitcoin. And I was like, why is this popping up over and over and over and over and over and over? Um, it appears that a number of very wealthy individuals within the cryptocurrency space, in this instance, we are going to be talking about Michael Saylor, have popped up back in the cryptocurrency news uh, to discuss how much Bitcoin you need if you want to be deemed wealthy in the future. And the constant number that keeps popping up is 0.1 Bitcoin. I'm going to be doing a lot of decimals here. For those of you who do not know or have never seen this channel before, uh, the idea is if you took all the Bitcoin in the world, some of you know this, and you separated it equally across the world, everyone would get 0.003 Bitcoin. Yes, yeah, so three zeros and then a three Bitcoin if it was equally distributed. Um, however, as that's not the case, uh, a lot of people are now trying to figure out ways to get any amount of Bitcoin. And historically, the number that was usually thrown out there in the earlier days of the cryptocurrency space was get one Bitcoin. This was articles from like when Bitcoin was four five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. If you can get one Bitcoin, you're ahead of the entire curve. A lot of what I usually find interesting here is that a lot of the wealthier individuals who are typically telling people, especially now, to only have 0.1 Bitcoin, that is to say 10 million Satoshis, these people typically own 18,000, 47,000, 148,000 Bitcoin themselves. Mm -hmm. And then they tell you to run out and have a tenth of a Bitcoin because it's probably all that you're ever going to own because all the rich people have been buying for a very long amount of time. The weird part about all of this is that this news isn't, it's not that it's not new. It's a, it's a remix of stuff that we had from around 2017, 2018, 2019. A lot of you might know this. There was an article that was written years ago on Reddit. It was from the Bitcoin Time Traveler. Yeah, remember that? Remember how that was a really big thing? And it was someone from 2025 who said that they were writing an article for us back in 2017, 2018 to tell us exactly how the future had formed with Bitcoin. The, 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 there's, there, there's so much to say. I'm trying to like keep it linear, but there's just so much like in my mind. Years ago, when I got into the cryptocurrency space, I mentioned this on my other channel, The Modern Investor. The reason, um, how do I, sorry. So many things were said about Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency space years ago. And now it's the time for all these like predictions to actually come true. Uh, back in 2014, 15, 16, 17, the amount of predictions and things about the future uh, seemed very far away. But as we are almost in, maybe you're watching this now in 2024, it seems a bit odd because it's like I'm slowly waiting for all those predictions and things to actually come true. That is to say the 100,000, the half a million, and the $1 million Bitcoin by 2032. The idea of the 0.1 Bitcoin from the Bitcoin time traveler has to do with the idea of, in his future, he says, Bitcoin has become basically everything. Everything is denominated in Bitcoin or Satoshis. The US dollar is still around, but it's not really used. So if you have 0.01 Bitcoin, 1 million Satoshis, it is roughly the equivalent of $1 million. But as Bitcoin is deflationary and the value of other things continues to go down as deflation happens and not inflation, no one's really spending their Bitcoin because they're anticipating next year the card that they want that's 18000 
It's going to be 16,500, then 15,000 the year after, and 13,000, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you have a million Satoshis, you're basically set for the rest of your life. And this is why I think this 0.1 Bitcoin thing is kind of fascinating. It's fascinating because it's the wealthiest people in the cryptocurrency space now telling everyone else like, oh yeah, you should also go out and get Bitcoin yourself. But you, 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 you don't need a lot. Just, just only get 0.1 while they collectively gather tens of thousands of Bitcoin every single month. And also this like really weird play on the on the news that we had years ago as always the articles will be in the description below for you to be able to see and read them yourself um i have always been a firm advocate of the at least one million satoshi thing not financial advice it is more of a if you are in the cryptocurrency space and you believe that these things could potentially, over the course of the next 10 years, actually reach these monstrous valuations, uh, especially as we are currently, at the time of me making this video, in a position where it's, I believe, $300? I believe so. $300 to be able to buy a million Satoshis. That is to say, after you have paid your rent, after you have paid off your mortgage, after you have paid off your gas, light, electric, you have water, you have a roof over your head, and instead of you buying that TV that you wanted or those other pair of shoes when you have 18 pairs of shoes already, that's always been my uh, really big philosophy. But it's interesting to see this number floating around once again. And to end the video. The 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 interesting part will be as the as time continues with or without us, uh, we will see at some point in the future if all of these predictions actually end up coming true. That is to say, uh, by the year 2025, expecting a quarter of a million dollar Bitcoin, 2028, 2029, people are talking about a $600,000 Bitcoin. And the grand illustrious, the same exact thing with that guy plan B, uh, he and many other people have predicted between 2032 and 2040, I'm doing a pendulum, but you couldn't see me, uh, we'd be somewhere between a $1 million and a $10 million Bitcoin. Uh, a $10 million Bitcoin, if you own 0 0.1, would essentially make you a Bitcoin millionaire in this way. Very, very uh, fascinating to see all of these, these things popping up once again and... The, Michael Saylor and the other ones are not the first rich people in recent times uh, to pop their head out of the groundhog hole and start telling people that now is the time to buy when they've been buying over two years over the course of the uh, bear market. Yeah, interesting, different video. I do hope that you've all enjoyed. I do hope, and also I was gonna, I do, uh, do not ever, Ever, do not ever tell anyone how much Bitcoin you have. It's similar to like, imagine you met someone walking down the street. Would you tell them how much money you have in your bank account? Probably not. So don't write it in the comment section here. Don't feel the need to like gloat or let other people know exactly how rich you are. Just just don't. There's, there's no actual reason for it. I do hope that you've all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having a great day, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.